Testimony is set to begin in Washington. Some of the leaders of the demonstrations here at Northwestern plan to speak with reporters. The Northwestern demonstration encampment calling for the end to the Hamas Israeli war and for the university to divest itself from businesses tied to Israel was one of the shortest lived ones in the Chicago area. President Michael Schill negotiated an end to the encampment by promising demonstrations could continue, but without tents, and promised more transparency in the university's investments. That deal spurred lawsuits and calls for his resignation from Jewish organizations. The House Committee on Education and Workforce will question Schill about that deal. Republicans who control the committee in particular want to question the president on anti-Semitism on campus. Schill, who calls himself a proud Jew, has held the deal up as a model for other universities, some of which saw violent ends to encampments on its campuses. That same committee heard from presidents of several Ivy League schools back in December, and their testimony led to two of the presidents resigning. Reports of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia have increased dramatically since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th. In a statement to the Tribune, the university said it looks forward to discussing the actions taken to address anti-Semitism on campus and ensuring the safety of all students. Now, as part of that deal, demonstrators can keep one tent up where their encampment was just for supplies. Jewish faculty at the school say Jewish students still avoid this area because it makes them feel unsafe. We're live in Edmondson this morning. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.